I've been working, man, dang near all my life, and I'll keep on working. Long as my two hands are fit to use. I'll drink my beer in a tavern. Okay, here we are at a redneck workshop, and we're working on this, uh, what we're going to call a rat scoop. Rick welded up this frame, and uh, we call it the subframe. It's uh, where our motor's going to get mounted in the rear wheel. And uh, he just married the front to the back, so uh, he'll show you what the frame is. So there you have it, and uh, at least we got a good start on it. It's only going to take a little more uh, work, and then we'll be putting the motor and uh, rear wheel on it. And so until we get to there, we'll see you again. Okay, here we are with the scooter again. We're uh, finally going to do something to it. Well, what happened since we saw you last is Rick went and drilled holes in the frame and has the back wheel welded. He had to weld the hub to the axle. And then we put that on. We, we got longer bolts to put the thing on. We didn't have long enough bolts. And I guess our next thing is going to be to get the motor mounted. And then after we get the motor mounted, we've got to figure out how we're going to put a seat on it. But up until then, well, and, and another thing is, uh, instead of calling it a rat scooter, I'm going to call it a sidewinder because, show them the sprocket there. We're putting the sprocket on the outside so it's like a sidewinder uh, race car. So that's why we're going to call it Sidewinder. Until then, we'll be back. That is, if we don't get carried away by the mosquitoes, they're terrible today. Get that mosquito. Got him. <laughs> okay, Go we have another step complete here. Rick just got finished. We didn't have the right length bolts, so we got the right length bolts. And now we have the bolts in here with our bearing on the bottom. The bearing's tight to the axle. Then we have the bolts in this side with a bearing on it. The bearing's tight to the axle. And then the sprocket, we just welded that fast to the axle. So the whole back end is uh, complete. All we need now is to put our motor on, and that's our next step. The motor mounts are in. Rick cut the pieces, which you saw him cutting, and now you just get done welding them in place. So the next thing to do is to set the motor there, mark where the hole's going, drill the holes and cut it out. Uh, Rick got the motor mounted, got the chain on, so the next thing we're going to do is start it and see if the chain stays on it. And uh, we'll soon be ready to ride this thing. All we need now yet is a seat. Is it on? Yeah. the way it smells. Well, you on okay we got the motor mounted got the chain on and uh, 
Rick had it running, and he rode back in the yard a little bit with it. But now we got another problem. Uh, we're leaking oil, and the oil's coming out of the engine seal and getting on a clutch. So I guess our next problem is to tear the engine apart and put a seal in. So until next time, bye. I've been working, man, dang near all my life, and I'll keep on working. As long as my two hands are fit to use. I'll drink my beer in a tavern, sing a little bit of these working man blues.